hello guys and welcome we have another repair video for you hp 250g10 classic laptop the problem with this one does not charge me punise and it's the hp plus charger yeah it doesn't charge can we check yeah i have a customer charger let's plug that in and let's give it a go the charger is here plug it in oops sorry plug it in nothing okay pressing the power button where is the power button it's here nothing okay do we have any voltage on the charger i can check yeah almost 20 volts so yeah it doesn't charge let's open it quickly and let's see what we can do yeah it was open before i can see the screws are all mangled up it was probably yeah the screws are all different and that's great We are in. Okay, come closer. And what do we have here? Checking the main power rail ground here. Beeping mode. What do we have? Two MOSFETs here. This is probably the input circuit, right? The current sensing resistor shorted 30. This side point to three, four. This side point thirty. So the main power rail is shorted. Okay, where else can we check just to be sure? Here maybe. Point three three. And this is the ground. So yeah. Yeah, that's shorted. Okay. We're gonna inject some voltage and we're gonna look at it uh, with a thermal cam. Hmm? We're gonna go second channel uh, voltage point eight point eight current three amps and I'm gonna poke it here. Yeah, where we tested. Okay. Let's go. Here, you see it? I could be a capacitor, huh? Yeah, let's let's put the macro lens. Do it again. Power on. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's this little dude. Yeah, this one over here. All right, little bit of alcohol. Just to be sure. Yeah, like that. Power on now, yeah. All right, that's fantastic, huh? How do you say? No capacitor? No shorted capacitor, right? Yeah, I'm kind of worried. You know, there is a case here can't get to with soldering iron because of this little guy here so it would be kind of best to do it with hot air hmm.
So how about now? Still shorted. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna love this. Take the board out, come on. Sure. I'm gonna go with small nozzle, a million degrees. I'm gonna cut the air off like 30% maybe. Let's see how it feels. It feels hot and strong. 24%. Hot and strong. Okay, you can't see really well, yeah, like this. Yeah, wasn't really a problem. How about now? Fantastic, huh? All right. So did we fix another one? That easy? Yeah, probably. Battery. Battery in. Plug, 20 volts, 5 amps, we are not gonna go 5 amps, 2 amps for now, plug that in, yes, current 5 amps, it is charging, or it's doing something, yeah, 1.5 amps, checking the voltage on the battery, 11.4 and rising, Fantastic. I mean, can you do it quicker than this? It's beautiful. I love it. Will it work though? Yeah, it should. All right. Yeah, hopefully nothing's gonna fall off. When we open it, yeah, pressing the power button, it is coming on. The fan is spinning. You need to wait a bit for it to initialize the BIOS. Two point five, two point six amps. The current is kind of jumping around, that's a good sign. Yeah, loading windows, we have a charging sign. If I unplug it, it is holding the charge. Guys, easy job, easy pizza, easy money, huh? What do you say about that? <laughs> that's it. Of course, as always, you have links down in the description with all my tools that I'm using. If you want to check that out, be my guest. And yeah, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.